I mean, I, we, we had a whole session with uh, Spiegel Halter on, on the statistics of excess deaths, and you come to a point where your excess deaths are negative, don't you, because people die earlier. So it's not the greatest statistic in, 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 in the world. But the deaths within 28 days obscures things, doesn't it? Because you're partly measuring the infectivity, the infections caused in, in hospitals. If you go into hospital, you're dying of cancer, you pick up an infection, there's high infection rates in hospital, you come out as part of that statistic, whereas you were always going to, one was always going to die of cancer. So I would think it was important to know, uh, not just from a statistical base, which has all sorts of uh, oddities, uh, ab about it, as I've just mentioned, uh, how many people are dying and the prime cause is COVID. Why can't we get at that statistic? Um, so the, in small studies where we can, uh, and, and these are uh, epidemiological studies, they do sometimes go in detail through case records and try and come to the type of judgment that, that you've just outlined. Um, and that's really, uh, and, and you need multiple people to review case notes um, and then to have a discussion and arrive at a somewhat subjective opinion about the precise cause of death for each of the individuals. So if the concerns that you've just raised, they, they can be addressed, um, and, but that very much happens within a research setting. Um, and, and, and again, just... Um, kind of to give a, an initial response, I can't really, I can't envisage a, a process such that we could try and do that for every single potential death caused by the virus. So I think it's the, the short answer is that uh, to actually get that for every single case, I suspect would be enormously resource intensive. Um, and, and just even though I certainly accept um, uh, Professor Spiegelhalter will have given very good comments on the use of all cause mortality uh, of uh, excess mortality. I wasn't necessarily necessarily saying that was perfect. My main comment was that the statistic we have agreed to use in the UK does have very good mapping to it relative to decisions that have been taken in other countries, perhaps. So it was more to reassure that it's it is a pretty good measure. But you're right um, on individual cases and in in, in small studies, it, it may be possible to get it more detail. Going back to one of the questions that uh, Graham asked Professor Riley in terms of the recording of deaths of COVID, as it were, rather than within 28 days of a COVID test, um, was I interpreting your answer correctly that although they're not published, that there is a data set that you have um, of deaths where COVID is the cause of death? Uh, no. No, I'm sorry if I was unclear I in my. So that data answer. set doesn't doesn't exist. It's not. It's, it, I, I I I would probably clarify just to make sure. Mm. Um, I was referring to uh, alternative methods that are sometimes used in research, so the research studies. studies that you, 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 yeah, but I, I was not in any way <coughs> referring to any specific data um, that I'm aware of. That's very.